Hi friends, it's Sarah from ruffleshandrainboots.com and today I'm going to be sharing some easy flamingo and gnome rocks for summer. These are great to hide around your community or even just display. If you'd like to make them, stick around. As always, please like this video so I know you're here crafting and hey, subscribe as well. We have a lot of fun. So these we're just going to use a couple of colors of paint. You can use any rock of any size, nothing special or out of the ordinary. So I am going to start with two colors and white, but you can use yellow for the feet or accents. Uh, I'm going to start with a pencil, a palette, some rocks that I have in this jar, which are just completely random and I didn't want to pack. So we're also going to be using a couple of different paintbrushes and a sealant. I'm using Liquitec varnish. Now I'm going to get started with this guy and I'm going to get a little close so you can see. All of these are made with the same shapes. They're just made different sizes and it's a teardrop and a circle and like a candy cane. I don't know how else to explain it. Like that's just a little candy cane, right? For the legs, you're just gonna make a backwards four. That's it. And then for the beak of the uh, flamingo, we're just gonna point that down in a hook. So for this guy, I'm gonna have him standing in a puddle of water. So I made a little C shape under him. And then I just connected the little oval head with the body. I'm going to be using chalk paint, but you can use acrylic paint, doesn't matter, but you need a white. And the reason is this rock looks white and it would be okay with the paint, but paint color is really going to pop if you put a white base down. It doesn't take that long to dry. You don't have to do multiple coats on a rock like this color. So just quickly get that down there, leaving your outline so you can see it for your actual color super quick and easy. And you can paint even the white behind the little legs or you can leave that alone. I'm going to paint it so you can see it a little easier, but I will be using a like permanent pen um, in case if you have shaky hands or you don't have a really skinny paintbrush, a pen will work just fine. All right, so I'm going to be using a very vibrant pink, this pretty pale like kind of turquoise aqua color and then some white and that there right there I have four colors and so that's going to help me create all of my gnomes. I'm just going to make sure that white layer is dry and add the bright pink right on top. This time I am going to cover up my outlines. Because it's just pencil and you've done it really lightly, it's easy to cover up. So I'm going to add the blue exactly as it is out of the bottle at the bottom and then dry that before I move on to the accents of the legs and the um, beak. So I do end up putting a second coat on both of these only because this rock is very textured and you could see a little bit of difference in the color. I'm using a fine liner Sharpie, which is, I think it's called the ultra fine. And I'm just doing the very front part of that beak. And then I'm going to do the legs. And for the foot, I'm just going to make sort of a straight down line with a little bit of a thicker piece at the very bottom. I'm not really drawing like real feet. <laughs> for the little wings, I mix the same color pink with a little bit of white and just add a very like barely there wing shape. This just looks like a cloud. For an accent to the water, I mix a little blue with the white and just make a smaller C right where the leg hits the water. Give it a quick dry and that guy is ready for Liquitex varnish, but not yet. Let's make this kawaii style. So if you're not familiar with this, this is the Japanese cute style where everything is just a little out of proportion. The head is a little bit bigger. The body is a little bit smaller. Now for this rock, I'm just going to create a very rough outline to create a frame. And you can see it's patchy and the edges aren't straight. I'm using a big brush. It's okay because I'm going to dry that and then I'm going to go in with a medium sized brush and just make that a brighter white for my base. I'm able to use a straight edge brush and it cleans it up really well without me having to worry about shakiness. So for the Kwai style, you're going to draw a much bigger circle for the head. And then you're going to draw a same teardrop shape, but again, much bigger. And you're gonna join those two together with a smaller uh, candy cane shape, okay? 
just join the front. And again, all this will be covered up, but you want the beak to be really big. And that way we can have a little extra detail in it and it looks super cute because that's all kawaii means. For the legs, I'm going to make them a little thicker and I'm gonna give them a little join right at the body with some paint. I'm doing the same reverse four shape and the same triangle shape for the feet. Now for this, I'm just going to quickly paint this um, here and I'm going to do two layers of this as well just because I wanted this one to be very bright and very poppy. When we are doing a sort of cute kawaii style, the kids love, um, we're also going to be outlining some things. We're going to be creating a frame so that the front colors really pop. And this is really great when you're doing like a display rock, like you wanna make something a keepsake. All right, so uh, first layer down and a little bit of heat second layer down, a little bit of heat, and now we do all of the accents. Um, or uh, we do the background before we do all of the accents. So the reason I'm doing the background first is because I am going to outline this pretty heavily, and so I'm going to make sure I have that outline all the way down. One coat or two, depends on what you wanna do. But you can see I'm using just a straight fine liner, that same backwards four, and then I'll fill in the little feet. I do go back and make the top of the legs a little bit thicker on this one instead of straight down style and then add a bit of pink right at the base of our beak before I go in with the black to finish it off. And you have white on your palette as well so you could add a cute little reflection for a nice quiet style as well. So I make a little tiny sleepy eye and just make the outline of wings in black and that right there is total kawaii style. So here's what I was talking about when we're going to frame our piece. Because we have this really cool blue background and we want that to pop, I'm going to outline or coat this entire back of the rock in black. Easy peasy. All right, so once you have that and have it dry, make sure it's dry so your fingerprints don't transfer to the front, you have this guy here. Now you can also outline him in black if you would like. Now here's my little cute gnome with the flamingo hat. And so I'm using a very porous rock and just drawing a large triangle rounded off at the bottom. I create a little bump out for the hat and that's it. Paint it white, give it a dry. Then I'm going to use the bright, bright pink, which I'm also going to use for fling flamingos later, and I'm gonna outline that entire little rounded off triangle. And the reason is, is because I'm gonna have two different shades highlighting this little guy. And I'm going to show you the outlining technique, which makes it really pop, which is why I wanted that big bright color. I'm using that same pale pink we mixed up for the nose and a light blue as the water accent for the body. And yeah, I didn't draw this, I just, pretended there was a triangle in the middle for a beard. Give it a dry and then we move on with the same blue paint out of the bottle, that darker shade, and just paint the entire hat. Easy, right? Like, you don't have to be some crazy good at drawing person to do this stuff. I just hope that if you have some paints and you go grab a rock, that you try this because it's very rewarding and it's like they're mini canvases, so they don't take very long and it's a fun afternoon craft. I used a fine line uh, paintbrush and just outlined everything in black so everything would really pop. I did end up going back over that beard and hat brim in order to make it a little bit of a thicker line as you can see here. So really cool part. We're gonna make that pink really stand out by using a straight edge paintbrush and just going all the way around. Now listen, the paintbrush does the work for you to get that straight edge, so don't worry if you have a little bit of a shaky hand. Just make sure the rock and your elbow is on the table when you're painting it, and it will be very straight, I promise. For the flamingos, yeah, that doesn't even look like a flamingo shape, does it? I drew like a candy cane and a little circle at the bottom, and that was my flamingo shape. They're so small, you can't see them. So I thought the idea of a flamingo was good. I end up using the Micron, which was a bad idea because it ran when I put varnish on it because I didn't wait for it to dry, but I just made the tiniest hint of a beak and the tiniest hint of legs. Can you see that? Can you tell? No, but 
it has the hint of it. So when you're looking at it, it looks like flamingos. All right, I also added a little smirk. And because I lost this footage, I'm gonna show you, this is the varnish I use. It's a glossy Liquitex varnish. Apply it with a wide brush and they're done. These are really fun to make. I said mini canvases, cause you're done fast. Let me know down in the comments, what do you think of this craft? As always, thank you for being here. Please like, share, and subscribe for more crafty fun. Thank you.